Hi, I'd like to show you an exciting new product called Sketch3D from Dynascape Software. Sketch3D is a software add-on to Google SketchUp, the world's most popular 3D modeling tool. Sketch3D is specifically designed for creating landscape models in 3D, and it consists of landscape component libraries, material texture libraries, and tools to speed up the transition from 2D CAD into 3D modeling in Google SketchUp. So how does it work? First thing you need to do is install Google SketchUp. There's a free and a pro version available. Download your components and textures and plugins from the Sketch3D website. Then you begin your modeling. If you're a Dynascape user, you can convert your drawings directly to SketchUp format. If you use AutoCAD or AutoCAD compatible software, you can import your drawing into Google SketchUp using the import feature in the pro version. Or you can start modeling right in SketchUp. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to start with Dynascape design. Here's a typical 2D design that's ready for exporting to SketchUp format. First thing I'm going to do is clean up the drawing, save it as a new drawing. Then I'm going to export it to the SketchUp format. And this is going to convert all the geometry into SketchUp geometry and allow me to open it up in Google SketchUp. So here I'm going to go. I'm going to open this up in Google SketchUp. Now I'm ready to do my 3D modeling. Now a typical problem with CAD drawings is that SketchUp doesn't recognize the imported CAD geometry or the faces. So we have a plugin that will run and clean up all the issues that occur with uh, imported CAD files and allow you to get started on 3D modeling. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, apply a brick texture to my house so that when I uh, pull the house up into 3D and it'll apply the texture to all the walls. And I'm going to erase a few of the extra lines that I don't need that are, uh, came with the imported CAD file. And I'm going to apply a texture to my front porch and then pull that up as a step like that. Now I want to create uh, the roof, and the roof that I'm going to create is going to go across the porch. It's also going to go across the bay window here, straight across. And the roof tool uh, requires to have a single face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull this down and uh, apply the brick texture to that uh, piece of uh, wall that I've added, and then delete the lines. Uh, so that I have one single face for my roof surface. And to create my roof, I'm going to use a free Ruby called Roof, uh, available from the Ruby Depot. It's a wonderful tool that allows you to create uh, an instant roof like this, uh, and it's available for free. Now I'm going to apply uh, my roof texture to the top of the roof, like that, and get it on all the roof surfaces and my roof is done. So it's a quick way of developing a roof on your house. You don't want to spend too much time building your house. You want it to be as quick as possible. So the next thing I'm going to do is I need to apply windows and doors. And we're going to use the Dynascape Sketch 3D libraries of garage doors. I'm going to apply that. They've all been set up to glue to the surface and cut the openings. Then I'm going to select a door frame with a side light. Drop that in there on the porch. Then I'm going to add one of the many door styles that you can choose from. Next thing to add is the windows. I'm going to go back, open up my windows library, and select one of my larger windows for the bay window there. Apply that, again, same thing. It sticks to the surface and cuts the opening. So there's my house generated fairly quickly in a matter of a couple of minutes, not a lot of time spent. That's how it is, how easy it is in Google SketchUp. The next thing I'm going to do is start applying my textures to all my surfaces uh, in my model. I'm going to apply a, a soil texture or mulch texture to the beds. Then I'm going to find a lawn texture and apply that to the lawn areas right there, and on the boulevard and on the side yard and boulevard. Then I go back and I'm going to select 
a paving stone pattern for my walkway. So apply the paving stone pattern to the walkway itself and then just a solid color for the borders around the walkway and the driveway and then apply an asphalt texture black top to the driveway itself and the concrete to the sidewalk. So there's all my textures, it's all filled in. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is work on this hedge. I, instead of using symbols for my hedge, I've actually created a shape with my hedge and first thing I'll do is apply a hedge texture to it, boxwood hedge. When I pull that up you can see that it has uh, some trunks on it as well and there's a texture that I can use for the top but by putting the texture on first it applies it all the way around as I pull it up. So now I'm ready to replace all my 2D symbols with 3D symbols. Right click, click reload, go to my libraries of components, sketch 3D components. I'm going to grab a uh, 3D tree, I'll grab this lilac. Now this lilac isn't a blooming one, it's just a, a summer version of that lilac. I can actually change that with one that has flowers. I've got a spring version as well. Um, if I want uh, a tree with flowers. So then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to start replacing all of my 2D symbols, trees, rocks, plants, just like that. So it goes very quickly. Um, you'll see that uh, when we get to the plants that have uh, multiple copies of the same plant, it'll replace each one uh, in one shot. So there's my, my rocks. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. Um, to make this go a little bit faster. Uh, and you can sort of see how you can fairly quickly develop your 3D model from your 2D plan because the uh, symbols from Dynascape and from AutoCAD, the AutoCAD blocks, come in as components which can be swapped out for 3D components or 3D models and turn it into a fairly uh, nice looking uh, 3D model. And go through the rest of the plants. Replace those in the back. We got some spreading evergreens here. Go to my shrubs, grab a low spreading evergreen there. There's another spreading evergreen up front here. Replace that one as well with a blue variety, a low growing. Then I'm going to move to my perennials. I'm going to select some hosta for that symbol there. I'm going to go with the uh, blue hosta, replace that. Then in the front here, look for something, a flowering perennial, um, like a crane's bill or something like that, or a coreopsis would be nice. And then I can continue on with the remainder of the perennials, reload that one. So you can see how it replaces all those symbols are the same with that 3D model. These ones inside the walkway here. We'll use an agapanthus for that. And then there's some perennials up front here. I could use an annual or a perennial symbol or model for that. Replace that with uh, a red coral bell. And then my grasses. The last thing I need to replace are my grasses. Reload those. Go to my grasses library and choose the Carex to replace those near the edge of the driveway and I got one more large specimen grass here and I'm going to replace that with the pampas grass. So there's my model. I've just got a couple of trees on the right side of the driveway that I'm going to replace. And this time I'm not going to use 3D trees. I'm going to use some 2D face me trees and these will throw a nice shadow. It's hard to tell unless you're looking straight down at it. You can't tell that it's a, a 2D image. Um, it has the same characteristics as the 3D models do. So there's my finished plan. Yeah. I can create a number of different scenes to show it from different angles, I'll turn the shadows on, and then from here I can uh, make presentations for my clients. So the output options for creating presentations for my clients are I can export a 2D image, a PNG file, or a JPEG from all the different angles export a movie file, or I can use a rendering software like ShaderLite, Podium, or Kerkathea and create photorealistic renderings of all the angles that I've created for that model. For more information about Dynascape Sketch 3D, go to www.dynascape.com 
Sketch 3D.